bound to be somebody out there said they don't know what they're talking about saying something good's going to happen honey something's good going to happen for the christian here or there one place or the other and uh, besides that we do know what's going on i i got enlightened today i picked up a copy of the toronto star your paper's bad up here as ours down there you don't have any good british workers beating up an ns job riot whatever that is Radiation lethal officials seal off a downtown office. Twisters kill four. That's just all on page one. You get over page two, it gets worse, I think. Snarling dog foils armed robbery. I'm in favor of that, that's all. <laughs> Fire kills a woman, 21. Injures roommate, 20. 20 held in swoop to break up a vice rack. You know, you got stuff like that going up here? I thought we had a corner on that market. Get over here, United Kingdom workers beaten in the Cape Breton riot. Belleville blast like kills a man, 25. About to Down our way, Virginia plans spraying death. Oh, right out of I'm with you, man. It's way. He has promised that he'd open all of heaven. And brother, it could happen any day.
you like my friends, huh? Part of the family. The reason we didn't have any trouble getting started together tonight is because of this kinship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Part of God's family? I, I feel like I'm part of the Spear family nearly. They don't want anything quite that big, but... Uh, <laughs> I hope that you will enjoy these wonderful friends of mine. I know you will. They've been here before. I got to take a lot. I leaned over to Brock. I said, Brock, what are you going to say? And you said, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise <laughs> the Lord. Do it. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Turned on church And they were praising the Lord I just came from a turned on church And they were praising the Lord I said that I just came from a turned on church And they were praising the Lord Your nose in the air You can criticize the way that I wear my hair But I don't know what you came to do But I came to praise the Lord One of the new Gaither choruses that we've just been singing over and over and over. We hum it on the bus everywhere we go. We, I find it coming to mind. It says very simply, Jesus, we just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so good. Jesus, we just want to thank you. Jesus, we 
just want to thank you. Jesus, we just want to thank you. Jesus, we just want to thank you. Jesus, we just want. for your kindness to us. Thank you, Lord, that we've been privileged to come to share with these, our friends, a little bit of the good things that you've done for us over these years. We thank you, Lord, for health. We thank you for food. We thank you for clothing. Father, too often we forget to thank you for the things that, that are so important and yet that we take so for granted. We thank you most of all, of course, for the gift of your son, Jesus, who, who makes life worth living here on earth. We're excited about the prospects of heaven, but we're thrilled with life that's really worth living here on earth. And now we'd ask you, Lord, to be with those who have gathered here tonight. We're, don't let us take a long time getting acquainted. Don't let us fence with each other to, to decide whether or not we're going to like each other. May we in this unity of, of sonship, of discipleship, may we find in this unity a bond that will bind us together from the very first words on. We thank you for the, the spirit that we felt sweeping across the audience already. And we ask, Lord, that when we leave this place tonight, we'll go rejoicing because it has been good for us to have been here together. Speak peace to the troubled mind give healing. We don't understand healing, but we know that you do touch bodies. Give healing to those who are in need of that particular touch from thee. Be with young people who are here tonight, who are planning their futures and their lives. Help them to realize that success comes only in becoming what they were born to be, what you intended them to be. And for everything that's accomplished tonight, we'll give your name the praise, because without you, we could do nothing. And the children of the Lord said, Amen. Well, I just feel like something good is about to happen. So do I, man. Oh, I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that it open all of heaven. And brother, it could happen any day. When God's people humble themselves and Back when I was just a teenager, my dad used to go to work every day, and before he would go, he would, he would give me tasks to do. We had a vegetable garden back during the days of the Depression, and you had to grow what you ate if you could. Get it the best way you could. So he'd, he'd have some weeds to pull or some beans to pick or potatoes to dig or maybe a row of grass to hoe. And he'd want me to clean out the garden. 
And if I didn't do that, if I got busy fishing, we lived right on the bank of the creek. And if I got busy and went fishing or took my rifle out to the woods to hunt squirrels or rabbits and didn't get the work done when Dad came, I wasn't too anxious to see him. But if I got all the work done, I came bouncing out, running up the driveway to meet him, you know. How do you like the work I did? Well, I knew he'd always give me an encouragement or a praise or something, you know. Well, you did a good job here. And in the great family of God, we as children, with all of our sin and our guilt, could never feel comfortable in the presence of God except the Holy Spirit makes us worthy. But when we turn our lives over to him and become reconciled to God and to his will, then it's a comfortable thing. It's a good thing to be in the presence of Jesus. Then we don't feel comfortable when we're outside of his presence because when we do something that grieves him a little bit, we have guilty feelings and we know about it. But we have to pray about that and get it out of the way and get back into good graces with the Lord. Gaither wrote about that, feeling at home in the presence of Jesus. Feeling at home in the presence of Jesus, hearing him call me his own, just feeling at home.
some of us go through life poor not poor financially but poor spiritually poor emotionally some of us don't have enough of God's love to wrap around us some of us go through life poverty stricken because we refuse to let God have his way in our life. And when I, I think you know that I'm not speaking about finances. Some of the richest people I know are people who haven't had much money. And some of you tonight may have come in and you, in your heart of hearts, you know that you're just missing the mark. You have needs. You have heartaches. And there are others of you who have given everything you've got to the Lord and and even, even in that, you find that the world has turned against you. But he's promised that if we let him have his way, he'll not only meet the needs, but he'll bring us out, as a pastor friend of mine used to say, with a high hand. You ever stood beside the rubble of an aching, broken heart? The things that you've given your life to seem to have fallen apart. You know you're not the first to be acquainted with heartache, grief, pain. And down in your heart of hearts, you know that he's promised there'd be sunshine after the rain. And yet, you go on and you invest your seed of faith in God, as it were, in, in mountains that you know you'll never be able to move. And you, you give your life unreservedly to things that you, you know you can't prove. But to give the things you cannot keep For the things you know you'll never lose That's the way to find the joy God has for you I can't think of any other term. It's just one of the prettiest songs I think I've ever heard. I sure, I sure do love the Lord. How about you? He's been, He's been so
still on your feet. You really have, you've only did one or two of the convention type songs. I'm only going to give you one shot at it. If you had just one shot, one song, what would it be? I, and I want something really stomps. I don't, I don't, you, by the way, you Baptists just close it down here for about three minutes. <laughs> uh, we'll do this and then we'll get on with the regular part of the program. You mean you want a romper and a stomper? Something that just gets up and goes. I guess the one that Dad Spear wrote in 1939 is about my favorite of all those songs and so uh, I think it would be Heaven's Jubilee. Take it. Sunday morning we shall see Jesus in the air. Coming after you and me, joy is nice to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Headed for the Jubilee yonder in the sky. All of them singing, singing, all of them shouting, shouting. All of them when with all the heavenly hosts we begin to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with them we shall be. Praising Christ through ages long, heaven's jubilee. Well, all of them singing, singing, all of them shouting, shouting. On that happy morning when we all shall shout by the rise, all of them glory. Hallelujah, glory, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Sing a song about the family. Uh, you know it. As soon as you catch on, why, sing along. Oh, God's children. Oh, God's children. Oh, God's children. To be God's children, you've got to be born again. Sermon of the Night coming up. Now, if you think you can make it just by going to church, uh, you're kidding yourself. If you think you can make it by doing good works, you're still fooling yourself. If you think this thing, serving the Lord, is just maybe singing in the choir, sitting on the official board, <laughs> you better find out what this thing's all about, friend. You've got to be born again. Oh.
To be God's children, you've got to be born again. Repeat that last line, if you will, please. To be God's children, you've got to be born again. One more time. We are different. We dress differently. Some of us, some of us don't wear makeup. Some of us do. Some wear jewelry. Some don't. Some praise the Lord best with hands raised. Some praise Him best on their knees. Others say, what matter? And I think most of us agree that it's what's down inside that counts. Once in a while we get some things built up in our minds, though, that tend to alienate us from God's people. Some, at least I do. Maybe you don't. When we got together with the Spear family for that first concert. I, I found myself a bit surprised. We had two hours to get ready for a three-hour program, and so there were some tensions. And I found myself a bit surprised that the, the peacemaker in that, that very tight session was a young fellow with long hair, and he was young. And I... I don't know why, but when I got home that night, I found myself very much embarrassed because I know he's only been a Christian for a couple of years. And he didn't, for some reason or other, I was surprised that he would be the peace. I had judged him because of something that I'd had built into my head. I judged him because of his hair, because of his age, rather than because of what was down inside his heart. And I found myself asking the Lord to forgive me for being judgmental. Thank God he's given us a chance to get used to each other down here on earth. Before he put us in heaven. I think some of us, we'd have been dumped into heaven. We'd have driven ourselves crazy looking for stones to build a wall. Just to shut somebody out or to shut them in. We're going together. Enjoy the trip getting used to the family we'll spend eternity with learning to love you how easy it is getting you my adopted family to come up to be with me on this song. Steve, do you know that second verse? Spears, come on out if you will and sing along with me. And Stevie, uh, come up and sing that verse, reaching our hands. to This kid taught me a lesson, and I am very serious about it. It was a hard lesson for me to learn. That is that God's family, some, we don't look alike. We don't think alike. Sometimes we don't worship alike. But when we know Jesus Christ, there's something down inside that makes us say, Brother, Steve. Reaching a hand to a brother Learning to say that I really love you. Learning to walk as the master would do. Getting used to the family of God go together enjoy the trip getting used to the family I'll spend eternity with learning 
that we say brother and we say sister around here it's because we're a family these folks are so very near when one has a heartache well we'll all share the tear then we get to rejoice in every victory with this family so dear sing it I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Join us with Jesus as we travel. Thank you for your goodness to us. Like I always do whenever, whenever I sing, I like to thank you for what you've done for my family. But Father, how, how can I say thanks for the things that you've done for me, for us? things so so undeserved yet you you give day in and day out just to prove your love for us if I had the voices of a million angels I could not express my gratitude all that I am all that I ever hoped to be Father, I would hold to Thee, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. his blood he saved me with his power he raised me to God be the glory for the things he has done with his blood live my life so to be pleasing 
pleasing unto him. And should I gain any worldly praise, let the praise go back to Calvary. With his blood he saved me. With his power Well then. 
Marketplace is empty. That's what I'm going to say. Sing it. No more traffic <laughs> in the street. All the builders' tools are silent. No more time to harvest wheat. Busy housewives cease their labor. And in the courtroom, no debate. Work on earth has been suspended as the king comes through the gate. Oh, and happy faces line the hallways. Those whose lives have been redeemed, broken home. That he has mended Those from prison He has freed And little children And the aged Hand in hand Stand all aglow Who are crippled Broken, ruined Clad in cold The King is coming. The King is coming. The King is coming. The King is coming. I just heard the trumpet sound. I just heard the trumpet sound. Soon His face I'll see. Soon His face I'm gonna see. The King is coming. The King is coming. He is coming for me. I can hear the chariots rumble. Seems like I can hear God's chariots rumble. And I can see the marching band. The marching band. And the glory of God's Yeah. 
just feel like something good is about to happen. Oh, I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that. 